Hello, to do this experiment, you will need a balloon and an empty soda can. First, rub that balloon all over your hair to generate some static electricity and a fun new hairdo. Then turn your soda can on the side and use your balloon to move the soda can. Is it haunted or is it science? Who knows? JK, it's actually science. Hello, for this experiment, you will need vinegar, gummy worms, baking soda, scissors, and a bowl of warm water. So first, cut your gummy worms up into small pieces. Next, pour baking soda into the bowl of warm water and let those worms soak. I'm gonna let them sit in that water for about 15 minutes. Next, take your worm pieces and mold them into more baking soda. Finally, drop them into a glass of vinegar and watch them come alive. Hello, for this experiment, you need safety equipment and adult supervision a spoon, and some dry ice. Make sure to handle it with care. All you have to do is press your spoon against the dry ice and listen to it shriek. You can tell all your friends to make sure to it for fun. Hello, for this experiment, you will need safety equipment and adult supervision, a bowl of warm water, bubbles, and dry ice. First, put the chunk of dry ice into the bowl of water and enjoy the fog that it creates. Next, blow bubbles into the bowl and watch those bubbles bounce around on all that heavy carbon dioxide gas. Oh, it's so much fun to watch. Hello, for this experiment, we need safety equipment and adult supervision, a bowl, dry ice, and hot water. First, place chunks of dry ice into the bowl. Next, pour on the hot water. The hotter the water, the bigger the cloud. Next, just have fun playing with your basically homemade fog machine. Hello, for this experiment, you'll need safety equipment and adult supervision, a bowl of warm water, dry ice, bubbles, a bowl, and a piece of cloth. First, put the dry ice into the water. Next, pour bubble solution into that bowl. Saturate the cloth in bubble solution and run it over the rim of the bowl to create a giant bubble. Enjoy your newfound swirling dry ice crystal ball. Hello, for this experiment, we need safety equipment and adult supervision. Small pieces of dry ice a plastic cup, a rubber band, scissors, a plastic bag. First, cut a hole in the bottom of your cup. Next, stretch the plastic bag over the cup opening and hold it in place with a rubber band. Next, put a little bit of water into the bottom of that cup and put a chunk of dry ice into it. Finally, just blow dry ice rings and have a little fun battle with your friends. Hello, for this experiment, we need safety equipment and adult supervision because we're working with dry ice. <laughs> then you're also gonna need a cup of water and some dish soap. First, pour some dish soap into that water and mix it all together. Next, just add a chunk of dry ice and watch what happens. These bubbles are safe to touch and so much fun to pop and mess around with because they're full of carbon dioxide from the dry ice. Hello, for this experiment, you'll need biodegradable packing peanuts, a pen and a sharpie, red food dye, a bowl, and some hot water. First, draw faces on your little packing peanuts and turn them into wee little ghosties. Next, stab a hole into your little ghost packing peanuts and put a little bit of red food dye into each of your little packing peanuts in that hole you just created. Then, all you gotta do is pour that hot water over the packing peanuts and watch them dissolve. Hello, for this experiment, you need safety equipment and adult supervision, a pumpkin, carving tools, dry ice, and a small bowl of warm water. First, you need to carve out your pumpkin. Then, place the bowl inside of the pumpkin. 
Next, put dry ice into that bowl of warm water. Put the top back on and enjoy your dry ice pumpkin. Hello, for this experiment, you need a mixing bowl, sugar, milk and heavy cream, flavorings, measuring cups, and dry ice. So first put a cup of milk into your mixing bowl. You also need a cup of heavy cream and half a cup of sugar. You can adjust that to your tastes. Then add in your flavorings. I was making a butterbeer inspired ice cream, so I used some white hot chocolate powder and some butterscotch extract. So good. Then while mixing it all together, pour finely crushed dry ice into the mixture and continue adding until it's all frozen. It's as easy as that. And it's really tasty. So enjoy your ice cream. Hello, for this experiment, you'll need a pumpkin, carving tools, baking soda, green food dye, a small bowl slash jar, a spoon, vinegar, and dish soap. First step, carve your pumpkin. Then put green food dye and vinegar into that small bowl slash jar. Add some dish soap as well and mix it all up. Put that small bowl slash jar inside of your pumpkin. You can optionally put the carved out pieces back in just for a little extra fun. And then pour the baking soda in. And watch that pumpkin spews. Watch out for that puke. Hello, for this experiment and tasty treat, we're gonna mix together ginger ale, pineapple juice, frozen limeade, and add some dry ice for a fun bubbly twist. Enjoy! Hello, for this experiment, you will need a paper towel or toilet paper tube, a cheap electronic toothbrush, markers or objects to decorate with. First, break off the top of your toothbrush, revealing the motor. Next, decorate your spider however you want to. I just use a Sharpie marker to draw on some eyes and some pipe cleaners to give it some legs. Once that's complete, all you have to do is put the motor inside of your tube and now you have an animated spider. You can mess around with what different combinations of stuff make your spider move the most. Hello, for this experiment, you'll need a cup, three tablespoons of warm water, yeast, measuring and mixing devices, food dye, dish soap, and hydrogen peroxide. So first, pour one half cup of the hydrogen peroxide into your cup. Mix in dish soap, and some of that food coloring. Then mix together one tablespoon of yeast with that bowl of warm water. Mix to combine. Then just pour the solution into the hydrogen peroxide solution and watch what happens. Hello, for this experiment, you're going to need a pumpkin, a lighter, and hand sanitizer. All you have to do is pour the hand sanitizer all over that pumpkin. And then light it on fire. Please be sure to exercise safety precautions. Thank you so much for watching all of these fun experiments all of October. Please follow me on Instagram. Really happy Halloween and keep it sciencey.